When building AI agents in Agno, you'll likely want to maintain context across sessions. By default, AI agents keep state only in memory, which disappears when you close the application. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use Agno's SQLite storage mechanisms to preserve your session's data like chat history, setting, and so on. This is probably one of the most important tutorials if you intend to use Agno to build your agent armies. When you start an agent with Agno, the conversation history is kept only while the session is active and is lost once it ends. By saving sessions to a SQLite database, we can preserve past queries and answers across multiple script runs, continue a conversation from months ago, and manage everything locally without setting up a complex server. If you have never heard of Agno before, Agno is an AI agent framework that simplifies building and managing AI-driven workflows, knowledge retrieval, and automation. I have a getting started tutorial to walk you through how to get started using Agno to build an AI agent. You can find the link in the description. This is going to be a relatively short video since the storage implementation is pretty straightforward and painless in Agno. In your code editor, create a Python file and name it loadstorage.py. In the module, import Agno SQLite agent storage class. The SQLite agent storage class is used to store agent sessions in a SQLite database. This allows conversations with the agent to be saved and resumed later. It helps maintain chat history, making interactions more seamless over multiple sessions. To create an agent SQLite storage, create a function, let's call it low social media storage. In the Agno AI agent framework, we can attach different agent database storage for easy swapping. For example, I can create an agent storage database using Postgres, DynamoDB, or even JSON and YAML files, and assign the storage to an agent or multiple agents. This makes it easy to switch between storage options based on performance, scalability, or data persistence needs without changing the agent's core functionality. Now in the function, create a SQLite agent storage object and assign a table name and a file path where the database will be created. And that's everything we need to do. Agno will handle the rest. Pretty seamless. To demonstrate how storage works, create a new Python file for testing. Import the Python libraries shown on the screen to import the required Python dependencies. Next, create the designated agent for testing. In the agent creation, assign the LLM model and storage location with the load social media storage function. Number of history responses controls how many past responses from the agent are included in each new message sent to the model. This helps maintain context by providing recent conversation history, allowing the agent to generate more relevant and coherent responses. For example, if number history responses is equals to three, the last three responses from the agent will be added to the conversation context when generating a new response. The add history to messages parameter determines whether the previous conversation history should be included in messages sent to the model. When set to true, the agent automatically includes past interactions, allowing it to maintain context and continuity in conversations. This is useful for ensuring that the agent remembers prior exchanges and provides more relevant and context aware responses. If set to false, the agent will process each message independently without referencing previous interactions. To test the storage feature live, launch an Agno Playground session. When you launch an agent with an agent storage attached, the agent storage class will create the database file if it is not already created. In the Playground, make sure you choose the correct agent since you can have multiple agents in a session, and some agents can have storage attached while others may not. To test the storage functionality, 
create multiple chat sessions, then shut down the server and close the page. Rerun the script to relaunch the playground. If you see previous chat history sessions are available, that means you have successfully set up an agent storage in Agno. And that's everything I will be covering in this tutorial. Hopefully, you find the video useful. If there are any other AI agent tutorials you would like me to cover, leave them in the comments below. Also, if you're a Patreon member, you can download the source code from the link in the description below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Happy coding. See you in the next one.